All right, y'all. So we are back with another rebuild. 2K24, you guys know I'm back. My first video back was that Jazz rebuild. I'm going to try to upload as consistently as I can. But yeah, I appreciate the support, the subscribers, comments, the views, everything. I want to take you two more seriously. I do. It's just time. I need more time, but whatever. That's like a whole other thing. We're back. Going in order with the rebuilds. So... Real quick, Kings fans, if you're a Sacramento Kings fan, your rebuild is coming soon. It is. It's just, uh, I had to re-record it, and I'm, no. So, <laughs> so we're going to skip over. Let's get to New York Knicks. So, the Knicks, definitely championship contending team. Brunson, superstar point guard. I think he should have started over Dame in the All-Star game. I feel like that should have been an obvious choice. But Brunson, we're also going to keep him. We have three seasons to rebuild this team. I think we can get it done in this season. A little bit of ego. I think we can. This team is that good. Brunson, we have him. As far as a backup, we can play Tyler Kolek. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably trade these two for whatever. We have Bridges and DiVincenzo. We have an OB, Hart, Randall, Robinson. I think what I want to do, in terms of trades, I don't, I, I think we just got to, Really just make this team the best we can do. I'm not a huge Randall fan. If we could trade him and McBride, can we like what what do we get if I just put those two together? Do I get someone? I get I could get Evan Mobley. That's already better. Chris Stapps. Oh uh, see, like look at the offers I get. Trey, we don't need Trey Young. Um Marketing, Kessler, Darren. I'm thinking we go with, we can get Cat. Who would be better, Cat or Mobley? I mean, Mobley, obviously. I'm just trying to think next to Mitchell Robinson. Mobley's three-pointer is a 74. Mm. Cat would obviously be the better fit in terms of spacing. I think, I think, now, I know y'all going to say this is not realistic. When I do my rebuilds, they're not realistic. I'm making whatever move I got to make to get the team the championship. I want y'all to know that. I want y'all to know that. If you've been watching me, you already know, I do whatever trade. I think we're going to do this trade. Evan Mobley probably has higher potential, but the floor spacing with him and Mitrov is, I'm not a fan of that. I'd rather, I'd rather Cat. Julius is, bro, a 73-3 compared to an 87. We're going to do this trade. Welcome to the team, Cat. Now, one, two, three, four, five. I want to see if we could somehow upgrade Mitrob. Like, we throw him in there with, like, campaign. And I don't know why the picks are not working. And a future first from us, Al Horford, that's really much better. Kessler, I think Kessler is better. Hmm. I want to try, okay, mm, this is probably going to be unrealistic as hell. But again, who cares, y'all know unrealistic. Y'all offered Evan Mobley to me before. For Randall, could we somehow try to get Richardson? I mean, I mean, not Richardson, Robinson to be the, the key. I'll throw y'all a bunch of picks. Y'all care about picks? Oh, um, we get Evan Mobley. Crap. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying not to trade away these other picks. I'm giving y'all out, man. God dang it. Okay, I was trying not to trade some of these value picks, but I'm going to have to. If it's to get Evan Mobley, look, I'm trying to do this in one season. I'm trying to do this rebuild in one season, <laughs> so I need to make the best moves I can. We traded Mitch Robin two firsts for Evan Mobley. Obviously, that's not realistic. The Cavs would not do that, but I told y'all. I'm not a little stuck. Oh, I just realized, god damn it. <laughs> I forgot we had Cat. Well, we could still, we could do it. We could do it. I'm going to play Mobley at center. 
His overall stays the same. And there we go. We'll stick with that. Trade that did all of that. Contract for agent. All right, let's get to the lineup. So obviously, that's the starting five. Dante Hart, Tyus. Okay. So, Tyus and Tristan can both play like 10 minutes. Hart could play 20. Dante, 25 for now. Mobley and Cat. Brunson and Cat can get 37. Mobley can get 34. We'll do 32 for you guys. I have three more minutes. We'll do one more of these guys down here. Okay. So the lineup is Brunson, Bridges, Edinobi, Cat, Mobley, with Dante, Hart, Tyus, and Tristan. I I mean we could trade Tristan and we could trade some of the young guys and picks for like a really good. But I think Tristan should be fine. I, I feel like he should be fine. So yeah. Okay, we are ready for the first season. I feel like this team could win it this season. I don't think this team's that good, but I see. Let's simulate season one, New York Knicks. Here we go. Okay. Luca, MVP. I know I'm blocking the stats, so I'll show y'all. 27 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, 52, 45, 81. If you round it. Castle, Stefan Castle, Rookie of the Year. My guy on my favorite team, personally. Uh, Russ Sixman, Victor Depoy, Jalen Most Improved, Jokic Coach Player. We got Coach of the Year. We'll see the wins on that in a second. Uh, okay. So, Knicks. Do we have anybody? Mobley, All NBA 13. 18 points, 11 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, 2 blocks, 52, 33, 70. Okay. Then I'm definitely from the three. He from twenty two to thirty three is a great improvement. Okay. Anyone else on the Knicks? OJ and Obi all defensive second team. Ten points, five rebounds, two assists, two steals, a block. Forty three, thirty five, seventy six. Um, that's about it. We are the one seed in the East. Uh, let's look at our standings. We went 64 and 18, best team in the NBA. Uh, let's see. Offensively, we're the best. Defensively, we were the best, at least in our conference. Stats who did what? Brunson, 25 points, three rebounds, seven assists, a steal, 53, 42, 89. Almost 50, 40, 90. That free throw was like a percent better, a little bit better. He went by 50, 40, 90. Cat with 20 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, a steal, 49-37-94. Uh, Mobley, we saw his already. Bridges with 16-4-3-1. Good shooting splits. Dante off the bench with 14, shooting 42 from the 3. OG, oh, we saw his already. 2 steals and a block. Hart, 10 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Tyus, he did good, 3 assists off the bench. De Silva, he did good. Okay, now, let's get these minutes in order. Why does 2K keep doing that? Why do they keep messing up your rotation? Oh, my God. All right. You two are going to get 10. Dante, 20, 20. Why is OG? Oh, my God. Okay. There we go. Okay. Mobley can get 30. I want 40 for Cat. And Brunson. No, Mobley could get like 34. And there's one left. This is good. This is good. Okay. First, we are going against the Orlando Magic, Suggs, Harris, Wagner, Ben Carroll, and Carter. What are we going to do for our defensive matchups? Um, Suggs isn't really doing much. Gary, I don't care what. It's really France and Paolo. OG could OG could have France, yeah. Paolo, I'd rather Mobley guard him. Bridges could guard Suggs. I'm not worried about Gary Harris. Okay, so let's let's do these matchups. So Suggs, we're gonna have Bridges just because why not? He doesn't need to, but just in case. France. Oh, well, look, definitely want that. 
And a no be will be on him. Boom. And then for Paulo, it's going to be mobile. Okay, game one, classic rivalry, rivalry, Mavs versus Knicks. Game one, we win. Bronson with 26, 20 for Cat. Wagner had 29. Game two, we win. Bridges with 26, 25, 10 for Mobley. 24 for Cat, 20 for Bronson. Everyone was doing the thing that game. We lost game three by, by a little bit. By five. Sorry, I'm like going like I, I couldn't see from right here. 20 for Mobley, 24 for Dante, double double for Cat, but we did lose. That's not. Okay, we win game four. 33 for Brunson, 23 for Bridges. And nope. Okay, they win game five. Brunson with 26. And 31 game six. What are we doing? What are we doing? How's. Oh my God. All right. Force to game seven. If we lose, I'm going to be annoyed because come come on. Like, we are twice better than this team. Like, come on now. All right, there we go. There we go. I don't know why we couldn't do this already, but sure. We win. Blow them out. Cat with 24. Brunson at 23. 20 for Dante. All right, we beat them in seven. Sorry, I got a little interruption, but we beat them in seven. Let's look at the stats for that. 23 for Brunson. 19 for Cat. Pretty much 19 for Bridges. Double double for Mobley. Everyone did their thing. Everyone did their thing. All right, give me like one second, y'all. Okay, we beat the Magic in seven. That doesn't give me a lot of confidence because that team, we're better than that team. Now we have the Sixers. Yes, they have Maxi, George, and B. Okay, I still feel like we... <laughs> this is gonna be a good matchup. This is gonna be a matchup. We we got to It's really just George and B. Maxi. I'm gonna put. OG can stay on George. Bridges on Maxi Mobley. Okay. Let's get the matchups going. So we're going to do Mobley here. Boom, boom. We're going to double team the paint. Okay. And then Paul George will have Bridges on him. Or did I say, well, it don't matter. They're both. And then OG to guard. All right. Let's hope that these matchups work. Game one, we win. Okay. Brunson had 23, 21 for Bridges, Cat, and Dante. We lose game two. Okay. And B had a double double. Maxi had points. Really, they're big three. Cat had 22, 20 for Brunson. Tristan missed shots. Ty's missed shots. Okay. Mobley won a six from the three. We win game three. Embiid had 34, but Brunson had 37. So we had a little duo. We win game four. 46 and 10 for Mobley. Oh my gosh. Double double for Hart. Can we beat them in five to advance? Yep. We beat them in five. Mobley with 27, 22, and 12 for Brunson. PJ had 34. We're going to go against the Pacers. A little cakewalk. I'm mean, not cakewalk, but. You know. Okay, um, let's see what happened with that second round. So, 25 for Brunson, 25 for Mobley. So, 25 for these two. Cat with 21. Double double for Hart. Okay. Let's take a deep breath. We got the Pacers. We should, we should beat them. We're going to do... What do I want to do for defense? Let's see. Well, who's doing, like, who's doing good? Obviously, I know Siakam. We'll put Mobley on Siakam. Really, Siakam and Albert. I'm not really, I don't really care about the other three like that. Okay, so let's do our settings. So we'll do. Uh, it says that Adobe's a better perimeter defender, so we'll put him there. And then we'll put Bridges here. And then now Miles Turner with Siakam. We'll have Mobley guard him. Same thing, double team in the paint. And then wall up. All right. We, this should be like a sweep. What are you guys? 
guys doing? What are my defenders doing? Oh my god, and the 3 of 15, 2 of 10, Bridges 3 of 12. We lose game one. Okay, we lose we win game two. Oh my god, I was gonna say lose game two. We win game two. 24 runs and 24 from Elite Double Double for Hart. There we go. Halliburton Siakam. I mean they got double doubles, but like they weren't the top scorers. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mobley had 33. We lose game three. This kid The Pacers, come on. We literally just Okay, whatever. We win game four. 32 for Cat, 26 for Anobi. Okay, we win game five. Can we not force game seven here? The big three scores, 20 plus. There we go. Thank you. We win in six. I don't know how it took six games. Brunson had 32 in that sixth game. Let's look at the stats for that round. We're in the finals to face either the Thunder or I think the Clippers was the other team. Got to fix the mic. Sorry, y'all. 20 for Mobley and Brunson. Cat was almost there with 19. Double double for Hart. And it is the Thunder. Damn, I was hoping the Clippers. Okay, Shea MVP. The disrespect. The disrespect. However, I mean, like. I, I mean, yeah, he averaged 27. But I feel like, oh my God, it should go to the winning team. Like, Whatever. All right, Knicks versus Thunder. We got to play the Thunder. We know how good they are. Damn. This is going to be the real test right here. Can we beat them? Defensive matchups. I'm going to put Mobley on Chet. I'm going to put OG on uh, Shea. I'll put Bridges on Dort. Well, Lou, Lou Will's... I mean, not Lou Will. Oh, my God. I just said Lou Williams. Jalen Williams is more prone to go, like, to score more, so I think it'd be better if I put Okay. So Shay, it's obviously gonna be OG. We'll do that. All up. For door, I'm not gonna I'd rather Williams. I'd rather put Bridges here. Door is gonna have to figure it out. And then yeah Mobley here. Same we're gonna double team. Double team post and double team perler. I'm on you, Chet. All right. Game one, we win. Mobley, 27 11, 25 Brunson, and 22 for Bridges. Okay. We win game two. Brunson with 27 11, 24 for Cat. Mobley, Hart, and Anobi all had double doubles. Win game three. 31 for Brunson, 25 12 for Cat, 21 for Bridges. Can we sweep? The Oklahoma City Thunder in the NBA Finals. The 2024 NBA Finals. Let's see. Oh, well, we're up. We're up. And... We did it, yo. We did it. How the hell is the Pacers our hardest matchup? All right. Are the starters up? Nope. I got to waste the time out. Let's get everybody in. Well, not waste. We're up, but, you know. We did it. I said, I said at the beginning, we're going to do this in one season. This team is good enough to do it in one season. We traded for Cat and Mobley because Randall and Robinson, I'm going to be like, they're fine. Oh, my God. I was, okay, that pass was late. I was talking, so I really wasn't. Okay, whatever. They're fine, Mitrov and um, Randall, but if the Knicks want to really take that next step, they got to get rid of one of them for like, Somebody that has a little bit better potential. God damn, these passes are slow as hell. A little bit better potential. So, obviously, I'm not saying get Mobley and Cat, you know, but I can't make that. Oh, he got the rebound. Who's is that? Mobley. Why that was has a slow ass release. Oh, now it's Bridges. Oh my god. I'm sorry I haven't scored. I've been just talking. I'll talk at the end. Let me, let me. How much time we got? We got like 40 seconds. All right, well, whatever. Um, But yeah, like Mitrob. Mitrob is fine. Randall's fine. But I think if the Knicks want to take that next step, they got to get somebody. Oh, my God. 
take that next. It, like they gotta get a big man. They lost Hardenstein. I that was that was a that was a damage loss. But yeah, like the Knicks, they're definitely finals contenders. I knew this was gonna take like a season. I said in the beginning, I plan on doing this in one season, and we did just that. We traded for a new front court, Cat and Evan Mobley. We beefed up the bench a little bit. But we pretty much we kept majority of the players. We kept Brunson, we kept Bridges, we kept Ananobi, we kept Hart, we kept DiVincenzo. Yeah, the only players we got rid of was Randall. The only main players was Randall, Robinson. Pretty much it in terms of like the main ones like yeah some of like the rookies and whoever but like the main ones pretty much only those two and not say we pretty much kept everyone else so mix well, I, I don't know how we swept the thunder out of how was the pacers the hardest matchup like i don't understand but okay we did in one season new york Knicks rebuild in the books like I said, Kings fans, you will get your video. Just it's gonna be a little bit later, just cause after we film it, and I just didn't feel like doing that right now. So skip the head to the Knicks. Knicks fans, you guys got something to look forward to. You do. They're definitely finals contenders. Yeah. Just can they get through the Celtics? That's the thing. I thought someone okay. There they go. There they go. Mobley and Cat would be insane. <laughs> like I was in the, I mean, there's no way Knicks could even do that, but that would be insane. I like Mitrob. I do. Randall, I don't really care, but they just if they could get like an elite big man, like not even elite, someone that could just do something. I don't know. Then they really that that would put them over the hump. They need a big man. That's really what they need. They had hard to shine if they didn't get. I wish they didn't get rid of him, but they kind of had to. Money wise, they were like, stuck. But let's go through everybody. Cat with 36, 11, 4, and 1. Average 20 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 48, 38, 97. That trade for him and Mobley. Just imagine that front court. That would be insane. Bridges. 30 points. He did what he had to do. Mobley did good. Brunson, obviously. And Anobi, Hart, Dante. Yeah, like, I pretty much kept the team. We added Tyus Jones. We added De Silva. We added Mobley. We added Cat. But we kept everyone else. I feel like the Knicks is one of the teams, if you're going to rebuild them, I feel like they're one of the easiest teams to rebuild just because they're already really good. I would say the only thing you should do is try to get a big man. And beef up that bench a little bit. But besides that, they're good. Brunson got finals MVP. We'll see his stats in a second. I know I'm always covering it. Finals MVP. Looking at his overall stats. Let's see if he deserved it. Yeah. 25-26. Cat had more rebounds. Brunson had more assists. They both had the same amount of steals. Brunson shot better from the field. Cat better from the three. Free throw about even. I mean, it's based off preference. I would rather Brunson get it just because he's been here. If Cat would have gotten it, that would have been kind of like whatever. But that is it for this rebuild. I don't know how the Pacers were a hardest challenge, but okay. I mean, well, no, the Knicks was next. Magic was to seven, but the Pacers, didn't they win like the first two or something? One. No, but they won two of the first three. So that was like, that already just made a difficult challenge. But yeah, y'all, that is it for this rebuild. Why is he doing that? That's if it's rebuild. Knicks fans, NBA fans, whoever, comment down below what you think the Knicks need to do to get over that hump. I think they just need a big man. Just someone like elite. Not, I mean, not like a superstar, but they need somebody that can do something. But yeah. Bye, y'all.